Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for Squad 51 vs the Flying Saucers on PC. Let's get into it. Now, Squad 51 vs the Flying Saucers is a sort of space themed shoot 'em up full of UFOs, aliens, aircraft and more set in a 1950s sci-fi movie aesthetic in black and white graininess of it all it's a 2D style shooter but with 3D environments and basically the plot of the game is that extraterrestrials have arrived on the planet promising an all the world to us basically we're going to make everything better but their leader director Zarog is basically evil and he's putting people in like work camps and stuff and making them work with for free and everything like that and uh, a rebel group called squad 51 rises up to fight back against the aliens basically and that's it they're taking on uh, Zarog's fleet of flying saucers there is obviously cinematic uh, FMV, live action FMV at that as well fully dubbed which tell the story between obviously Squad 51 um, but they are absolutely fantastic like I say and it sort of explains the plot but it, it's a very sort of simple tongue in cheek shoot em up plot but there is a lot of humour in the, uh, the cutscenes and stuff like that that I was very grateful for now the game features four different aircrafts that you're able to play as and uh, you're able to get a variety of different special weapons attach it to your ships and stuff like that to sort of vary it up a bit. Now the game also features 11 different levels uh, which you can fight your way through. There's a variety of different enemy ships and bosses across a variety of environments including snowy mountains, cityscapes, forests and over the oceans and stuff like that. Now the game features um, split screen multiplayer for sort of same screen sort of two player madness. If you've got a friend together you can jump in as well and um, you're able to unlock new special weapons and upgrades with them as well. And one thing I do like about this game it does feature a dynamic difficulty which basically means the game is it sort of sets its difficulty based on your skill level so even if you're not that great at shoot 'em ups you can still enjoy the game um, to as good a capacity as someone who is more pro at these sort of styles which is nice because sort of shoot 'em ups are notorious for being extremely difficult and off-putting as well to a lot of people so the more people that can play the better now what did I think of this game I really, really enjoyed it. I love the classic 1950s look of it, the black and white grainy aspect to it, and I love the cinematic live action FMV sequences littered throughout the game. They scream sort of nostalgia, they scream sort of classic retro 1950s movies, cheesy sci fi, and I was all for it. Now, the game is really fun to play. Like I say, it features a dynamic difficulty, so even though it does start off slightly difficult, it does get easier as you progress. Plus, you sort of upgrade all of your ships as you're playing anyway, you get new sort of weapons and abilities, so even if you do die, you just sort of replay the level and you seem to be a lot more powerful the next time, and it just builds and builds and builds. And the game also features split screen co-op multiplayer which is awesome I wasn't able to play it myself um, because I have no friends but hey it, it, it does look absolutely fantastic it looks just like more of the same but just crazy because there's two of you on screen at any one time and you can play through the entire campaign with a friend but if you like these sort of games I definitely recommend checking it out it isn't the longest of games but it is really really fun Overall, I highly recommend this game. It's like playing a shoot 'em up of like a classic sort of TV show here in the UK of like Thunderbirds or Captain Scarlet or something like that with the puppets and the sort of model um, aircraft and stuff like that. Definitely gives me those sort of vibes from it. It's a fun little shooter, 
with a great sort of visual flair to it with a black and white like 1950s sci-fi movies aesthetic the live action cutscenes are funny and tongue in cheek but also really really cool really set up the sort of plot and everything and the only downside is you can clear the campaign within three hours um, obviously it does feature full controller support and sort of split screen including remote play together on Steam which is a nice touch but like I say it all depends what you're looking for like I say if you want in a very long game this isn't going to be it but if you want in a sort of very good shmup as such a shoot 'em up game with a uniqueness to it obviously unlockable new weapons which change the way you play and what you're able to do every time you die then look no further than this the game is available on steam and it's usually priced at 15 pound and 49 pence so check it out like i say a big thank you to the devs and the publishers for sending us a copy for this video review and check out our other videos on the channel like i say we've got tons of daily content coming up uh, including more reviews more gameplay and our podcast will be coming back next week in the new year but then that thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon for more content bye for now